I think that Crash is not simply where outstanding research about current topics or approaches is happening, but a site of true emergence. It's where questions that will be of vital importance in 10 years from now are being developed. One of the ways you might think of Crash is as a kind of particle accelerator, a sort of hadron collider of intellectual life, because what we do is we put things into accelerated motion and they bump into each other and new things come about. Our commitment in CRASH is to the idea that none of the really big questions and none of the really interesting areas are ones that can be dealt with or can be disclosed by the resources of one subject area alone. I met some absolutely fascinating people who are working on incredibly important and interesting projects that I was able to learn an awful lot from. The researchers working on the Technology and Democracy project that was being headed up by John Norton and David Runciman. I can't imagine having the opportunity to learn these um, different perspectives on these things anywhere else in Cambridge. I've just had so many connections to other places and met people through talks that I've attended or crash events. I find it's been so stimulating for me because I've had so many aha moments while sitting in, in the audience of events on something that's maybe not even related to any of the kind of like medical humanist questions that I'm interested in investigating. Three, two, one. I was looking for a fellowship which would give me this exposure of social science where I can combine social science with my engineering research and bring about uh, the innovation that I was uh, attempting to and Crash was pro probably the perfect place or the venue to do that. For 20 years since its inception in 2001, Crash has been bringing together people from the arts and the humanities, getting them talking to each other. We want to put the humanities right at the heart of our conversations about what humanity is and where it's going. So that means that the humanities need to be right at the centre of questions of medical science, right at the centre of questions of technology. And that's very much our ambition for uh, the next 20 years of CRASH. In times of global crisis and uncertainty like the ones we're in now, such intellectual nimbleness allied to long-term perspectives is priceless. Not least of Crash's contributions has been its ability to bring the full weight and scope of humanities to bear on advances in the fields of medicine, technology, and scientific discovery. As it enters its third decade, I look forward to seeing Crash develop even further, build new audiences, and respond to new challenges. My thanks to all our Crash colleagues, and my very best wishes for the years to come.